Hi, I'm Brad with Orbit, and I'm here today to show you some of the great drip solutions available from Orbit. Drip is an effective, easy way to water your garden. It uses less water than traditional sprinklers, can get to those hard to reach places of the garden, and usually requires little to no digging. Yet many people find drip irrigation intimidating. Today I'll show you just how easy Orbit has made the drip experience for the average DIYer. Right now, there's a big trend in raised bed gardening. These popular add-ons to your landscape don't just add aesthetic appeal, but are extremely functional in growing vegetables and other plants. Drip is a great way to water these areas. Before we get started, let's quickly go over the basics of most drip installations. There are three main components to a drip system. First, you will need to connect to a water source and have some form of filtration and pressure regulation. Drip irrigation uses tubing with thinner walls than traditional underground irrigation uses and compression and barb fittings that can blow off if the pressure is too high. Also, tubing and fittings with small openings can clog if there's no filtration used. Orbit offers a three-in-one filter, pressure regulator, and adapter for your faucet or underground system. Or a two-in-one product that will convert any underground valve into a drip zone. Second, you will need tubing to get the water to the area needed. The most common sizes of drip tubing are half inch and quarter inch in either distribution or emitter tubing. Third, you will need an emitter or micro sprayer to get the water right to the plants. Some of the most common emitters are pressure compensating drippers, flag drippers, micro sprayers, stream emitters and bubblers, or emitter tubing. Today I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can water your raised garden bed. You'll need some type of water source for this project. That can be an underground valve, a nearby faucet, or an existing riser that you can use. Let's head over to our raised garden beds and get started. First, let's talk about connecting to your water source. Orbit provides a variety of simple solutions to make your connection. If an underground riser or fitting is not available to connect to, you can use the three-in-one fitting to connect to your hose faucet or end of your hose. You can also use one of Orbit's hose tap timers to automate the drip system. These come in configurations of one, two, three, or four ports for a variety of needs. After you've connected up your fittings and a timer to automate the system, insert your tubing and begin laying it out. For this installation, we will connect half-inch drip tubing to an existing riser. Again, you should add filtration and pressure regulation to the line. A product like the two-in-one will work connected directly to the valve or you can add it to your pipe after the valve. We will not go over the installation of this product in detail in this video. You can use a threaded adapter or a PVC adapter to connect to your half inch drip tubing. In this example, we'll use a half inch threaded adapter to connect to our existing riser. After your adapter is connected to your water supply, push the half inch tubing into the drip lock fitting. Drip lock by Orbit features a push fit connection and allows for the removal of fittings from the pipe. In addition, drip lock will work with 0.690 to 0 0.710 tubing. In this installation, we are using 0 0.700 tubing. After you have connected to your water source, stretch some distribution tubing through the middle of your bed and secure it in place with half inch tubing stakes. Note that your tubing can run around the perimeter of your bed as well. The idea is to get the water supply close to the plants you need to water. You will need to use elbows and tees if you choose to run the pipe around the perimeter of the bed. Once the half inch tubing is installed, you can take your punch tool and create a hole in the pipe in the approximate area that you plan to water. After you have created a hole, attach a quarter inch barbed coupling to the tubing and connect a quarter inch piece of tubing to your coupling. At this point, Lay the tubing to the plant you wish to water and cut it to length. As you can see, we've finished installing the emitters to each of the plants. Before we close off the end, one good idea is to flush the system out to get any debris that may have gotten in there during the installation. We were very careful not to get any debris inside of the tubing, but this is a good practice before you close it off with a figure eight. 
With everything connected and the system flushed, place an end cap or a figure eight fitting at the end of the half inch distribution line to close it off. Once you have made all of your connections, test the system to verify that the connections are secure and that the system is working. That's it for today's project. You can learn more about these and other DRIP projects Orbit has to offer by visiting us at orbitonline.com.